They say that talk is cheap, but when it comes to massive fails, the opposite is quite often true. One bottle, two bottles, three bottles, floor! <laughs> the way this sculpture looks afterwards is hilarious. <laughs> Although the artist doesn't seem to be laughing. The old technique of getting a window in place? By breaking another window. Here's a good tip for car parks. The height restrictions apply to your boat too. There goes the fire alarm. Sadly, this windshield wasn't strong enough to take the weight of this guy's massive ego. How to simultaneously remove a tree stump and the no claims bonus on your car insurance. <laughs> this is not the best end to your son's driving lesson. Oh, God. Oh, God damn it! Oh my gosh, right, I, 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 oh my gosh, I swear I... Back up. To be fair, if anything's going to distract someone's attention enough for them to drive over wet cement, then it's a bus full of school kids. Hey, people. Like this window, the crane operator's lack of skills is completely transparent. This guy was forced to make a split-second decision. Save the boat, or save the truck. And decided to choose neither. Here's a lesson in how to rip your truck and your dignity to shreds. You did it wrong. He don't know how to drive. There you go. Back over there. there you go. Now, straighten it up. We're not entirely sure about this, but we don't think that forklifts are designed to lift forklifts. See you, one. Oh, she's doing it. Ah, second, second. Nobody wants to drown. Although being crushed by water isn't great either. Whatever medication he's looking for, it's probably something to do with his balance. When your wife installs a new feature in the garden, but doesn't bother to tell you. What? Uh, one of the many problems of a cockatoo using a human toilet. This is what happened when a U-Haul truck hit this carport. It's also a great way to get your neighbors to hate you before you've even moved in. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anything valuable in the truck? Some people love their drones as much as their own children. One thing you never expect to do when you're driving a forklift is land it. Luckily, he was fine. Even the world's biggest slushy fan doesn't require this much slushy. says that walking while looking at your phone is dangerous. Nobody has ever said that. We can only assume that this guy was not happy with their level of customer service. When this guy looked out of his window, the last thing he expected to see was a random woman going to town on his car with a baseball bat. 
It's a well-known fact that faces all around the world are terrified of any human in a VR headset. A quick lesson on how to change an SUV into a pickup truck. When there's something inside the TV that you really want, then you break the TV so you can get it. That's logical, right? <laughs> Don't worry, she was fine. But the door and her self-respect are both shattered. Hmm. What should we use to support this massive concrete roof? Hey, I know! Wooden sticks? Did anyone order a forklift? Yachts are very expensive, and so are the fails they're involved in. Wet cement is like snow. You just want to run out of the house straight into it. Don't jump! Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's this is one of those weird windows that you're never meant to open. Yes, shelves are generally designed for small items, not large trunks. Considering the amount of major storms around the world, you'd think someone would have invented a hail-resistant windshield. If you park in the wrong place, this company won't just tow your car, they'll trash it. The question as to whether he let her share that glass or not is probably going to say a lot about their marriage. Here's a wine-saving device doing the opposite. Sometimes Santa works during summer and drops off boats for good middle-aged men. See, the problem with trucks is that they can't duck. You probably think something's going to happen to this truck, right? <laughs> Wrong! This is why parents get nervous when their kids are out of sight. The real tragedy is that the driver of this truck really hates the color yellow. <laughs> These three men put their heads together, combined intellects, and finally found a way... ...to smash it! A truck overturning in your repair shop is bad enough. A truck full of rice is another problem entirely. When you head to the hairdressers for a cut blow and glazing accident. There are regular leaks, and then there are overhead tsunamis. Come on, let's go. Here's more baseball-sized hail hitting a car. And it doesn't even have a bat to defend itself. Why are we showing this? This is so explicit! Oh my God. You know you've packed your shelves well if everything stays in place during an earthquake. <laughs> Do boats have brakes? If so, could someone show the captain of this thing where they are? Why did the chicken cross the road? 
<laughs> just to upset these poor guys. Oh, look at them. Get out of it. <laughs> Prestige. <laughs> <laughs> if you try to take a shortcut through wet cement, then you might end up taking longer than you could ever imagine. You're playing on. I will be mad right now. In fact, you might just end up as a permanent fixture. They're gonna get mad at me for it. Someone wanna see how I pull it out. FYI. There's even more rain on that roof than there is on that floor, as these unfortunate diners are about to find out. Of all the potholes to drive into, this guy had to pick the one that goes straight to the center of the earth. Never buy that exploding glass you've seen advertised. It's just not worth the money. Since there are no Taco Bell drive throughs at sea, this guy obviously forgot about things like height restrictions. If a sheet of glass starts spinning like this, then the outcome is never going to be good. Before we see this fail, we have a question. Who keeps scooters in the living room? This is how you're supposed to walk after drinking beer, not while you're delivering it. Don't worry, the floor isn't moving. It's just a massive, massive flood. Even slow, out-of-control vehicles can cause havoc and devastation. But mainly to plant pots. It's always best not to go out in your car during a storm. But if you do, then don't stop by a large tree. Here's a good way to drop off cement and perform some physical comedy at the same time. If you don't live in an area which is prone to hailstorms, then you can destroy your car windshield yourself. Just ask a friend to do something stupid like this. <laughs> this guy's engine failed in the middle of this massive puddle, but his day was about to get so much worse. Fails don't come more expensive than when they feature a Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari, no! Look at that thing. Oh no. This is either a flooded supermarket or the world's most authentic seafood island. Oh my thanks. Houses in Texas are not built for freezing weather, and this is what can happen as a result. Out of the house, but it was about like yay high. Some tricks are best performed when you're younger. And thinner. This is a whale watching boat. And just like a whale, it's a disaster when it approaches dry land. We shouldn't have to say this, but kids' beds are designed for... Well, kids! When the storm is so bad, a random boat washes up on your dock, and then sinks. Yeah, I'll just delicately fix this small chip. And then rip a yard of paint off! This dog's favorite spot has clearly been taken, so he decides to just eat his way into the couch instead. When a trampoline flies past your house, then you know it's time to go back inside. 
Do not subscribe to this woman's wine delivery service. When road rage meets sea rage. As you can see, it's not just cars that got stuck under bridges. Would you like to see more quality videos that make you say, at least it wasn't me? Then join a collection of people you really want to be a part of by clicking subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.